Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video that I haven't done for a really long time and it's going to be a gothic and spooky makeup haul. So if you want to find some really amazing small businesses that do amazing makeup then do keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will get straight into it. So I will be doing swatches of as much as I can and I will overlay it as I'm talking about it too. So you should be able to get a really good idea of what the colours look like and all of that that so the three brands i bought from are v cosmetics radioactive unicorn and concrete minerals so those are the brands but i bought them from kate's clothing the beauty vault and then v cosmetics like their own website so those are all of the companies i bought from i've tried some stuff from radioactive unicorn i have a nail polish by them i included them in my self-care box so i was really wanting to try some more stuff from them i've heard really good things about v cosmetics so i went ahead and placed my order so i've got eyeshadow um palettes lipsticks and nail polish that took me way too long to think <laughs> so i'll be showing you all of that today but when i ordered from v cosmetics as i said i hadn't ordered from them before um first of all the packaging was gorgeous it came in this like black cardboard box i only ordered like three things so i really was impressed by their packaging it looks like this and this is definitely a box i'll be keeping after to probably store wax melts in when you open it it looks like this and it came with black tissue paper it just was really really well presented which i absolutely love there was also this card in there too and it just tells you about their values as a brand i'll start with the v cosmetics stuff first as i've kind of gone through their packaging so from them i bought two lipsticks and an eyeshadow so i'll start with them first thing i ordered was this eyeshadow and this is in the shade wooden i think it's only one o so it could be pronounced differently but that's the shade name of this one really really cool and there's their packaging and it just comes in this little cardboard packaging and i'll get the shade out so you can see it a bit better and that's the color of that one as you can see it really matches the nail polish <laughs> but it's a really nice shimmery red i think this is going to be perfect for going into kind of autumn and winter we are finally in spooky season it's finally september <laughs> as you could probably tell i absolutely love doing orange makeup as soon as it hits spooky season so this is the first look of 2022 <laughs> um but this is going to be perfect i don't have many colors like this i have one that's like a really nice shimmer that i tap on top of makeup but i think this one will be really nice as i said though i will put in swatches as well so you can kind of see and that was i think four pounds so very affordable and then the next two are lipsticks these two were the main things i was after so this one is called unicorn goo metallic liquid lipstick this is in the shade mystic and they basically have a list on their website of all of the different types of lipsticks that they do so this one is described as a liquid lipstick but it has more of like a shinier finish to it it's not drying which is why it's called the unicorn goo it's supposed to be a bit more shiny so i'm gonna see how this kind of compares to the maybelline ones i like because they don't make your lips look dry at all so it'd be really interesting to see what this one is like but i used to have a color like this from nyx and it just got too old so i ended up throwing it out and this is like a perfect replacement because it's that perfect like christmasy metallic red that i absolutely love so this is what the shade looks like through the packaging as you can see it catches the light so nicely it's a really nice metallic red that's their packaging i don't mind their packaging it's not super spooky i do think that it looks kind of expensive though <laughs> um, which is always good i say i prefer the packaging of their other liquid lipsticks and it does say the name on it but i would prefer if the name was here so if i really like this and want to talk about it i'll always know the shade whereas once i've broken this seal off the name won't be on the lipstick so that's the only thing i would change about this is actually have the shade name on the bottom of it so i always know um but apart from that love the color of it and the next one is a liquid matte lipstick and this is in the shade janice and the reason i bought this is i have a 
nail polish from Radioactive Unicorn and it's green and shifts to purple. You might have seen it um, in a video. I'm not sure if I did a haul on that. I might have done. Um, but it's a stunning colour and I found that they do a lipstick that perfectly matches that. I feel like this and that should be like a bundle together. I know they're from different brands but they literally go perfectly together. So this is a multi-chrome lipstick which i've never seen um and i just think that sounds amazing it, it just sounds like magic <laughs> so this is the packaging of their liquid matte lipsticks and i love the kind of black packaging it does say the name on the bottom of that i don't know if that's going to focus um but it does say the name which i like um and this is stunning it's such a stunning color so it's that really nice metallic emerald green and as you can see it shifts to purple when the light hits it it's literally magic as i said so such a pretty color i did just put like a tiny bit of this to test it out and it does actually shift purple in the light so i cannot wait <laughs> to try this one especially because i've got a lot more like green and purple clothes at the moment so yeah really impressed with this it definitely does what it says it does but as i said i will have to give updates on these as to like how long they last whether they last when you eat to that kind of thing because that's quite important to me with lipsticks i prefer if they stay on while i eat so i don't have to like reapply them or anything so yeah i'll have to give you updates on these but the colors are absolutely stunning okay so next i will go on to radioactive unicorn so as i said this is the company i included in my box this is the company i have that really cool nail polish from so i found out that they did another nail polish and this is in the shade pumpkin spice so the name 100 percent sold it to me but when i found out it was a red that shifts to orange <laughs> it was a no-brainer this is actually what i'm wearing right now and it's absolutely beautiful i got it it literally arrived yesterday and i painted my nails last night um it's a stunning color so this is the bottle of it so it's basically a like berry kind of red and it does shift to orange it might be a bit difficult to see because of the light it's such a pretty color and as i said this is the nail polish i'm wearing so it's a really nice red and then it does like shift the lights coming in that way i can't like flip it around like i can see it here and it's shifting to like orange but you can't see it. <laughs> so if i can get a video of it i'll put it here but it literally shifts from red kind of orange to a light orange and then it shifts to almost like a yellowy green so it's it has a lot of colors in it um so i'm super impressed by this i think it's absolutely beautiful and super unique as well that's what i really like about all of these colors they're really unique and it's always good to support small businesses as well the lipstick i got from them is in the shade second halloween and i was really after a cool toned purple this honestly is a bit lighter than i was hoping for i was kind of hoping for more of like a black that shifts to purple it did look dark on the images um hopefully it will dry a bit darker but this is the shade of this i think the packaging is really nice it does have the name there and the brand there kind of simplistic but i think it does look really nice um the colors like a nice color it does look like a really cool toned purple it's just a lot lighter i'll put the like photo of what it was supposed to look like on the screen so you can kind of see again i'll show you more in the swatches but it does look a bit lighter than i thought it would be also all of the lipsticks were around like 10 to 13 pounds and the nail polish was seven pounds i believe so yes i'll have to update you with this one but it does look like a really unique color so i'm still excited to try that one next up i have eyeshadows so i have one palette and this is the last thing from radioactive unicorn so i actually ordered this from kate's clothing because they were the first stockist to get it and i was desperately after this palette so this is the front cover of it honestly i'm not actually blown away by the cover um i like the pumpkins but i don't i don't know it's not my favorite cover to be honest um and the ink you can kind of see it's like it's been like printed and like obviously it's been printed but you can kind of see the patchiness of the ink so it's not my absolute favorite cover if i'm honest but i didn't buy it for the cover i bought it for the eyeshadows which are absolutely stunning so this is the palette 
is beautiful. I remember seeing sneak peeks of it before it went on sale. Immediately when I saw it, I, was, I thought there's not one single colour in this that I will not wear. And that's what sold it to me because there's a lot of palettes that I love the look of. And then realistically when I think, okay, well, how many of the shades am I actually going to wear from this? And it ends up being about four out of like ten. And then I'm like, well, it's not worth it for me to get it if I'm not going to use all the shades or like there's too many pinks and browns in. I don't tend to wear that too often so i was really impressed with the like color story of this so it does have these shades there so i can read them out <laughs> so starting on this side that's a really nice like matte red in the shade always wear a costume the one across is a trick or treat which is a really nice kind of bright orange then across oh my gourd as in like a gourd as in a pumpkin <laughs> or a squash um, which is a kind of matte orangey yellow and then who gave me candy corn which is the matte yellow on the end there moving down starting again from this side bonfire boo this is like a metallic peachy color that shifts to green absolutely stunning the next one is moon baby which is kind of a shimmery gray kind of color then witch which is a shimmery gray a deeper one celestial being which is is coming up quite light on the camera actually but it's actually a shimmery kind of lilac-y purple and then moving down we've got crystal ball which is a matte bright purple here this one is villain absolutely love that which is this is the colour I wanted of the lipstick. See, this looks like it'll match that. Although, actually, I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> but this was the colour I was after. Like, that really blue-purple. Next one is Toil and Trouble, which is a shimmery, kind of lilac -y purple. But it is a bit deeper than it's coming up on camera. And the last one is Necro Necromancer which is a glitter and this is like a purple glitter with that shifts like yellowy green so very very pretty as a palette i believe it's around 30 pounds really excited to try this very quickly because i'm filming this before i have to go out <laughs> i have two eyeshadows from concrete minerals i love concrete minerals i've got another eyeshadow from them it's absolutely stunning and it's the same as these this one i got is in the shade wonderlust and this one is in the shade temptress so this one is a kind of deep purple which was that kind of purple i was looking for and it is a shimmer it's absolutely beautiful i absolutely love this kind of purple and this green is more of like a cool toned almost sea emerald kind of green again beautiful these swatch amazingly too like for my other ones so you will see a lot better in the close-ups of the swatches that's all the makeup i have to show you i hope you enjoyed this kind of shorter video and i hope it kind of shows you what other makeup brands are out there i do stick to maybelline quite a lot but i am really excited to try all of these out because they're from small businesses the colors are super unique um, and I haven't bought makeup in a while so it's very fun receiving all of this so I do hope you enjoyed this video do let me know your small business makeup recommendations in the comments and let me know what your favorite item was from this haul do subscribe and hopefully I will see you in my next video bye